What's going on everybody? This is Chris from Out West with Chris. And this video is gonna chronicle my experience on a fishing trip that I took with my buddy Dean. The trip took place on Easter weekend 2018, just last weekend from when I'm um, editing this. So I left California at about oh, 7 a.m. on the Friday before Easter weekend. And I left with about five hours of sleep. I was up late the night before, which that does play a role in this. So I drove up to Klamath Falls, I met up with Dean, and we started driving. And we drove past Crescent Lake. So Dean said, hey, you wanna take a shot at some Lakers? And of course, I said, yes. When we showed up at Crescent, it was uh, about 3 p.m. and it was pretty windy. We decided to go for it anyways. I really wanted to take a stab at a Laker. Haven't caught one yet, so wanted to take a shot at it. And we paddled and paddled, gritting, looking for these lake trout for quite some time. And we really didn't get on them. And we, we had to get into this wind and it was a little gnarly. So Dean is hooked up. I got a bite and it popped off. A top five smallest fish out of here. Top five smallest fish. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, did you get me? I don't know, did I? Did I get you? Yeah, somehow. Oh, son of a So we fished Crescent for a little while. Dean caught these two, I didn't catch any, and then we hit the road to Portland. We ended up in Portland at our buddy Rob's house at about 1.30 in the morning. By the time everything got settled in and we got to bed, it was about two. So that's the backstory and we'll continue on. Here at the Willamette River on Saturday morning, the Saturday before Easter, fishing with Rob, the Sturgeon General, Dean, myself, and a guy that none of us had met in person, Buddy. So the four of us started paddling down to a place known as Jurassic Park. All right, I got a line in. I'm using my spinning reel on a casting rod. Very not advisable. It's a fish right down there. Hopefully we can get on him. In case you didn't know, I'm a total noob to the style of fishing for big fish. I don't fish for big catfish, sturgeon, or anything like that that takes bait. So I, in my um, wisdom, or lack thereof, brought a spinning reel. A large spinning reel, 5000 series. And uh, it really didn't work. And you'll see footage of that in the future. So we were set up against this boom and uh, just kind of fishing along, waiting. I could actually feel the fish, the sturgeon, rub against the line. You could, you could feel the scoots tingling the line. It was so cool, but not too many bites. What's up? You taking a nap? <laughs> Anything over here? I got that like scoot thing, you know. Yeah. Down. Nothing much.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I don't know. Freaking A. And there you have it. Don't take a BB gun if you're hunting buffalo. So that spinning reel just, it, it just wasn't set up for that rod. I mean, it was the totally wrong rod for that spinning reel. The spinning reel itself isn't bad. It's, it's not a bad spinning reel. It was just the wrong gear for the species I was targeting and I broke off. Now we were really getting close to our cutoff time for legal fishing. Um, and I ended up breaking off one other time this evening Dean caught like six fish in this area, and Robert caught a couple too. I was the only one that hadn't caught a fish. So we started our paddle back, and it was um, not a long, long paddle, but not bad. It was decent. So we started our paddle back. We'd been on the water all day since about 9.30 in the morning till about, I guess this was probably almost 8, and it was a long day out there, and very few bites, not much activity for me. Um, Dean had seen some activity. Robert had seen some activity. I saw some activity, but it broke off both times. So we started our paddle back, stopped to get something to eat before we hit Robert's house, and then crashed. What's going on everybody? Chris from Out West with Chris and back at Jurassic Park for uh, a little bit today. <sighs> I'm actually not feeling too hot. I've Oh, Rob, the Sturgeon General is hooked up. Rob's on it. Okay, I gotta get a line in the water. Like I was saying, I'm not feeling too hot today. I have thrown up twice this morning. Saying that I wasn't feeling too hot was actually kind of an understatement. I woke up not feeling great, and it just got worse that morning. And I felt like death by the time we got to the marina i'd thrown up twice just driving to the marina and i really didn't know if i was going to go out honestly if if it hadn't been the fact that i was there with my my buddy dean i probably would not have gone out and in a way i i forced myself to go like i kept thinking to myself you know what you drove 12 hours to get here you spent all this time yesterday you gotta give it a shot so that's what i did i gave it a shot and as I was paddling over to this area, I started feeling better. Buddy's on one. Dean's on one. Triple. Dean tripled up. <clears throat> yeah, we got a triple going on. No what happened? Oh no. So I was lucky enough that Rob, the Sturgeon General, let me borrow this older left-handed reel of his. And I had it on the rod that I had, the rod that I brought down. So, so I was getting used to this new reel, not one that I was used to. I don't know if he's stuck under something or what, what he's doing, but... He's trying to get underneath the right That's how we got the reel. No. It's not going anywhere, dude. 
I'm like... No. I don't know if he's wrapped on something now or not. Like, look. I don't know. He, oh, he wants that. No. I think he's wrapped. Well, we kind of got kicked out of here, so we're gonna we're gonna go other places. It felt like it. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, a lot of little. Oh, you go. I got a catfish! I got a catfish! You need to catch that on a bump board, bro. I don't have a bump board. Where? You have one? Yeah. yeah, let me let me put this in the the tourney. <laughs> oh gosh, Dean, this is so what would happen to me. <laughs> so caught a little baby catfish. Oh man. Oh, so, again, we just hung out here waiting and not much happened. Until Dean decided to wander off a little bit and find a new spot and he started texting me basically saying get over here dude get over here so i paddled over to dean <laughs> i think it busted the gears Plus, gears, dude. No. Like, no. I'm gonna hand line it. I'm gonna hand line it. I'm gonna hand line it. He got off.
Yeah. All right, dude, I'm bailing. You want to try my rod? I'll, it'll, something will go wrong. No, try my rod. Okay. It's cool. No, it's cool. Those, that's 15 bucks for you, dude. We're doing it right here. Because I know they're down here too. Okay, and I'm gonna tie on to that thing so that I can get an angle on when they go under these <laughs> barges. At this point we were down to the wire. I had broken off about five fish. Everything was going wrong for me. I felt like crap. We were using jigs, three ounce jigs, to get to the bottom with the bait. And I was about ready to give up. But Dean kept pushing me and I'm grateful that he did. think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Damn. Oh, 
Man, this is a heavy fish. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> hey, first one I've landed ever. Nice, dude. Yeah. So many problems, dude. Like t with me for some reason. So One of the reels breaking, breaking off like three times, four times. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Go for it. Alright. Yeah, dude. For sure. <laughs> Thrilled I am. That was so awesome. How how long do you think that was? Like four and a half? Huh? Do you think it was four and a half? Four footer? Yeah. That was four. Yeah. It lost four. Four. First sturgeon. Yeah, he got him. He got him. Yeah, you got him. right where you want them, right in the middle. He's on. He's on. Huh? <laughs> Sturgeon rodeo in here. Is it still on? Yeah. Oh my gosh.
<laughs> I got you, bro. Thanks, buddy. Huh? I'm at the 69 now. Take a picture of this thing. Well, I feel like lifting its head will give me less. Take that picture, dude. <sighs> I'd like him to roll the other direction, but... Team went on to catch a few more fish, two more to be exact, before we started paddling back so that we could hit the road and make it back to Klamath Falls that night. This whole experience for me was one of, uh, I guess, overcoming adversity. I was sick, I had all these malfunctions, break-offs, and finally I hooked up with that one fish and then went on to go and catch a huge fish, the biggest fish of my life. One that maybe I'll never catch one bigger. Who knows? I'll try, but who knows? And it was a really good experience for me. One that I am grateful for and one I won't forget. <laughs>